We want to make it clear, real clear, domestic violence is not a joke. It's not something that we should take lightly. For those of you that are posting on Facebook and doing all that unnecessary stuff, I don't care what a person does to you. You don't have the right to take her life. You don't have the right to put your hands on nobody. This man looked me in my eyes all the time. And whenever I would talk to him, I'd say, I'm giving you my child a wholehearted, bubbly personality. And that's how I want to get her back. And he always assured me he would never do anything to hurt my child. Who was interested first? Who said I love you first? Who's more protective? Who cleans more? Who eats the most? Who spends the most money? Who is most likely to start an argument? Who falls asleep first? Who is more annoying? Who loves the hardest? This is the story of Winter Straw, a fun-loving 25-year-old who loved to make TikTok videos with her boyfriend Renardo. To many, they were viewed as couple goals. Sadly, what seemed like the perfect relationship was hiding a dark and dangerous reality behind closed doors, and this love story would tragically end in murder. Welcome to Viral Crimes. Subscribe and hit the bell icon for more stories. This story takes us to Columbia, South Carolina. Columbia is the capital of South Carolina, located in the southeastern region of the United States. It is home to several colleges and universities, a vibrant arts and culture scene, and numerous parks and recreational areas. Columbia is known for its museums, theaters, and art galleries, as well as its stunning views of the Congaree River. 25-year-old Winter Straw graduated from Columbia High School and attended Allen University. She was a standout athlete, excelling in both basketball and volleyball. She was also a member of the Gamma Pi chapter of Delta Sigma Theta sorority. She graduated from Allen University in 2020 with a Bachelor of Arts degree in Social Science, which included a concentration in pre-law. Her goal was to go to law school. Winter was a Department of Corrections mental health officer. She completed additional mental health training and specialized in dealing with prisoners with mental health issues. She delivered mental and behavioral health programs to some of the most troubled inmates. She was a dedicated officer and cared deeply about her job and the people she served. Winter was in a relationship with 27-year-old Renardo S. Johnson. The two had been together for years, and they love making TikTok videos together. They often post pictures of themselves online, and they appear to have a deep love for each other. In their videos, you can see how they interact with each other they're always laughing, joking around, and having fun. When Winter was involved in a serious accident, Renardo was right by her side, taking care of her. The two seemed to be happy, but unfortunately, this relationship would soon take a tragic turn. On Sunday, March 26, 2023, officers responded to a high-priority crisis situation at an apartment complex in the 700 block of Mallet Hill Road at around 6 o'clock in the evening. They received reports of a shooting. When they arrived, they discovered the body of Winter laying outside of an apartment building. She had been shot many times. Police identified Winter's boyfriend, 27-year-old Renardo S. Johnson as the suspected shooter, and he had barricaded himself in the apartment. After the initial response from law enforcement, which included a large number of units from the sheriff's department, negotiator teams stayed in touch with Renardo for approximately three hours in the hopes of getting him to surrender peacefully. At some point, Renardo stopped communicating with negotiators somewhere after 9 o'clock in the evening. Soon after that, gunshots could be heard coming from inside the apartment where Renardo was barricaded. When authorities entered the residence, they found Renardo with a gunshot wound to the upper chest. He was taken to a nearby hospital. Healthcare workers tried to revive Renardo, but he would be pronounced dead later that night. Winter's family and friends were devastated and shocked at the news of her passing. Tonight, the mother of a murdered Richland County woman is looking to turn the tragedy into a rallying cry against domestic violence. Winter Straw's family confirmed she was killed in last night's multi-hour standoff between deputies and a barricaded man. 
Richland County Sheriff's deputies say they found straw dead outside before starting negotiations with the suspect. So this happened on the 700 block of Mallet Hill Road in Richland County. That's on the northeast side. Chris Joseph spoke with Winter's mom today. LaShawn Williams is the mother of Winter Straw and described Straw's murder as a shock and a betrayal. She says she's now turning her energy to taking on domestic violence. She um, was a good friend, good sister, great daughter, all around just a, just a good person, a rising star. LaShawn Williams spoke lovingly of her daughter, Winter Straw, describing her as determined and community driven. She says the family welcomed the man and there were never any signs of mistreatment. We didn't see any signs, no signals. It wasn't like she was coming around us with black eyes or anything like that. So there was none of that. Making the murder a shock. Winter's loved ones and friends are devastated at her passing, and they have expressed a desire that she be remembered for who she was and what she had achieved. Her mother said she was a rising star, and that if you had already met her, you would have adored her, and if you hadn't already met her, you would wish you had. Winter's mom wants to share her daughter's story to help put an end to domestic violence. It's a sad reality that some relationships that appear to be healthy and loving can take a tragic turn due to domestic violence. Unfortunately, it's not uncommon for victims of domestic violence to hide the signs of abuse, making it difficult for friends, family, and even social media followers to recognize that something is wrong. It is unclear what led Renardo to resort to the ultimate act of violence. Or if this was an isolated incident that escalated to murder. My condolences to Winter's friends and family. She should still be here. May you continue to heal and someday find peace. When people think of Winter, I want them to think of just a sweet, innocent girl who was out here trying to make her mom proud, make her family proud, and just to do what she loved most. I'm the baby of my family, and so she was my little sister, and so I just, it just hurt me so bad because I wish I was there for her. I wish I was right down the street. I just wish she would have called. The last Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.